A CCTV footage taken on the eve of midterm elections last May shows Eastern Police District Director Brigadier General Christopher Tambungan Scar parked in front of Green Hills Police Community Precinct. He was approached by Police Corporal April Santiago, who was the desk officer that night. Minutes later, Tambungan is seen hitting Santiago in the head and even hitting her with the door of his car. It has been more than a month since the incident, but Santiago has not filed a complaint out of fear. On Wednesday, the CCTV footage reached the desk of NCRPO Chief Guillermo Eliazar and Santiago was urged to file a complaint. Eliazar says Tambungan was angry at Santiago for not giving him police assistance. So pagdaan niya doon na uh, she, she, he asked the duty personnel doon, ito nga si Corporal April Santiago. Nag-iisa lang siya during the time. At uh, uh, allegedly, he, he required the corporal na mag-produce ng sakyan para ma-guide siya papunta doon sa, sa venue na gusto niyang puntahan. Eh since nag-iisa nga siya at nakadispat, sinabi niya na negative, wala siyang available. The next day, Santiago was relieved from her post and transferred to the EPD headquarters where she claimed she was verbally abused by Tambungan repeatedly. Baog daw ako sir, support, dapat daw tinutuli ako yung mga ganun sir na salita, tapos puro PI na mura sir. She was not given a day off for nearly a month and was charged with refusal of assistance. Tambungan has been relieved from his post as the PNP investigates the incident. Tambungan faces administrative charges. Eliazar warns the PNP will not hesitate to discipline any of its officers. This should serve uh, as a lesson of warning to all others. Makasamahan natin na... We cannot use our influence, our rank, our authority over our subordinates. Uh, we can always scold them, di ba? E part yun yung uh, kahit sermonan mo. They want to, to reach out to our personnel na manindigan tayo sa ating karapatan. At kung uh, kayo naman ay nasa tama, hindi tayo pwedeng apihin. Na Santiago has been transferred to the Southern Police District. News 5 has not yet received a response from Tambungan on his side of the story. Reporting for News 5, Jen Kalimon. We are One News.